Okay, hi, it's Cassie again. Uh, we are going to do another video. I know it's crazy, uh, but we are going to work on shadows. So I'm just going to hit Control Zero a bit. I did hide my HUD. I hit Alt Shift H. So if you need to do that, you can. Then we're going to hit F1, and this pulls up our quick uh, preferences for graphics. So we have shadows right here, and this is what we're going to look at. Right now I have mine so blurred that you can't really tell, but normally in photos it's it's kind of annoying because then you'll end up seeing um, it's super jagged once you have it edited. So you, you kind of got to finagle quite a bit. Um, so right here you can see we have the image, but then when you take the photo, you're going to see all those jagged lines. Sometimes they clear up once you stop moving, but a lot of the times they're just still jagged. So that's when we mess with our resolution close up. Normally that can lag you pretty badly. Like the moment you lower resolution close up, you go from like, um, five to like 29, depending on what screen you have. Um, so the higher you go, the lower your, uh, your FPS is going to be. Uh, it's just kind of how it is sometimes. But I, that's why I always like to save uh, shading for the very last thing that I do in Black Dragon. I'll save that as well as depth of field uh, for my very last thing just because it does lag me pretty badly and I just want to make sure to get the best photo I can get. So I'm going to keep my depth of field down so it doesn't hide any of my shading because we want to make sure we can see the shadows accurately. Um, another good step is just to make sure you have the sun exactly where you want it. Um, I'm purposefully having shadow on my body just so we can see this together. So we have our blur size right here. Uh, if you want to just try to hide it as much as possible with the blur, you can. But remember, when you take your snapshot, uh, I normally have mine at 5000, so it will get rid of some of that blur and you will see those jagged lines again. Uh, so uh, we always want to mess with our distant closest as well. The further you have it, uh, the more it goes away. Um, sometimes close messes with it too, depending on how close you are, but normally I don't touch those. Um, and then we have right here our resolution. So the lower the resolution, the more foggy and crusty it's going to get. The higher you go, the more uh, uh, lined up it's going to be, less jagged. But then you go in a little closer and you can kind of see that it's going away, but you can still see some rough lines. So we can either... I normally keep my distant closest pretty low. And then you can see right here, it fixes it, even with the, the blur size down too. So really all you got to focus on is the resolution close up. But again, save it for last because I'm now at 10 FPS instead of the 30 I was at earlier. I really hope that helps. Um, if you have any more questions on it or if you're still struggling, uh, let me know and I'll be happy to answer. All right, bye.